There's so much to do in the summertime in Niagara. I hope you get an opportunity to take in absolutely everything. Make sure that this next event is on your to-do list. Joining us to tell us more is Sandra Stokes, who is art uh, at the Pump House Committee Chair. Good afternoon, Sandra. How are you? Hi, I'm very good, thank you. Well, I appreciate you taking some time. Glad to have you along today. For anyone who doesn't know about uh, the Art Centre in Niagara Pump House, uh, tell us uh, what happens there. Okay, so the actual Art Centre itself, we have lots and lots of different programmes on at all times throughout the year. We have several events on. We have the big one that's that's coming up in August, August 5th and 6th, which is Art at the Pump House. Um, it's, a, it's an actual art saying and show. And that's on those two days. And then we have other events throughout the year. We have a moonlight picnic that we've just advertised, actually, which is a beautiful event as well um, in September. And we have another, uh, like a sa- an art sale and, and craft sale come up at the end of uh, by, by near Christmas time. So we have many things going on throughout the whole year. A lot's happening. But as you said, um, that nice showcase uh, for the 5th mm-hmm. and the 6th, uh, what will yeah. we find there? Okay, so that's going to be um, a two-day show. It's been on now 16 years, so uh, I'm pretty good at doing this now. We have around 60 artists coming in, um, and we have some in inside showing their pieces. We have artists out in the grounds, and then we have also an online presence as well. And you're going to find people there with different sort of paintings, photography, sculpture, woodwork, glass, textiles. Uh, jewelry and they're all jewelry events so it's going to be of really great quality a lot of local artists as well okay all jurored what does that mean well, that means they've gone through a jury to make sure there are the right sort of uh, standards so that we you know we're making sure that we have the right sort of quality of of uh, products there to, to be selling and showing so and who's on the jury um, oh, we always have somebody um, from our board. We have somebody there that does that from um, our volunteers. And we always have somebody there who's who's one of our arts collective people as well. Oh, fascinating. So you, yeah. they all get the inside look, know who's all up and coming and, and what. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a good job right there. <laughs> uh, it's, in terms of artists, is it mostly local who, who are uh, coming into yeah, the show? Yeah, We have, yeah, we've got, a, as I said, 60 this year, which is fantastic. Um, and um, yeah, it's a mix. We have people from mostly Ontario, of course, because people have to travel here um, with their art in their cars usually. So, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit of a mix. But the majority is from the Niagara region. Okay, that's always a great time to to stock up and do some. You know, we get someone's birthday coming up. Always get those yeah. one of the kind, uh, unique um, gifts there. Um, and there's also some refreshments as well. There will be, yes. We're going to have some musicians, local musicians, Steve, Steve Goldberg and Andrew Aldridge, and also the Eukesters from Niagara on the Lake. So they're going to be doing different things throughout those, those two days. We've got Pig Out, which a lot of people tend to know in this area. They're coming to do the, uh, the food and some refreshments. Some are going to have um, wine and beer tent as well. All right, you got you got to have some refreshments because it can get hot in August. Exactly, it's usually a very hot weekend. So yeah, we'll be having those. Um, we're positioned right down on Ricardo Street, which is right down by the river, and it's um, a beautiful spot to sit and take in the the atmosphere as well as obviously doing some shopping. So good opportunities for both. Absolutely. Do you get a lot of people from out of town coming to take in the show? Oh yes, yeah, because obviously we have a lot of visitors in that area at that time of year as well. So we usually have between about 1,800 to 2,000 a year come uh, and visit us for those two days. Wow. So it's packed, but it's a steady flow normally throughout. Okay. Well, we'll put that one on the uh, agenda. And uh, you yeah. mentioned the uh, uh, Moonlight Picnic. Tell us about that. Oh, well, that's going to be on at the, um, I think it's September. September, of September, September, September 8th. 8th. Yep, I have yep. it on your September website 8th. here. Yeah, and that's going to be, um, I'm not involved with that too much, although I am going. So you buy tables of six um, and you um, you bring your own food. There's, there's a nautical theme this year. Fantastic event. We have a great band and opportunity to sit down around with your friends. I said, take in the atmosphere of the evening, dance to the music and um, have a really fun evening. 
All right. Well, that's lots of fun. We'll have to have somebody else uh, from uh, the Art Centre come in and chat with us about it. Definitely. Thank- yeah. Yes. That's, that's on, the, on the website now as well. And the, this show, you it's a $5 um, entry for adults to come along as visitors to come along to see to be you know, to see the show um children are free um and we are advising people to try and pre-purchase their tickets on our website before coming okay and that makes everything a little bit more easy uh can, yeah, can you get some good deals um on different uh pieces of art at the show um yeah and also you can um speak to the artists and sometimes they'll obviously commission work for you as well if there's something you like but want something done a little differently as they make everything themselves Often they will, you know, give you a business card and and give you different options as well going forward. So, yeah, lots of options and chances for you to to buy some great pieces. Wonderful. Sandra, thanks so much for taking some time to tell us about it this afternoon. No problem. And our major sponsor this year is Chateau de Charme as well. We'll be selling their wine. So, oh, well, again, you got to have refreshments. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank (laughs) you very much for inviting us. Thank you, Sandra. Have a great day. Sandra Stokes is uh, Art of the Pump House Committee Chair for the big show coming up in August, August 5th and 6th. Mark that on your calendar. Check out niagarapumphouse.ca for all of their programs, exhibitions, and all of the information uh, coming up.